Okay, so I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. I just picked up my uh, Atherin SD90 Mac H2 from the hobby shop that he pre-ordered it at, and I just got that yesterday. So I was I took it out of the box just a little bit ago and was looking at it, and I thought, you know what? I've also got an SD70 ACE that's from the exact same manufacturer, so let's see what the aesthetic differences are between the um, SD90 Mac and the SD70 ACE. Um, as you can see, the one on the right is my SD70 ECE, that's my uh, Wabash Heritage Unit, Norfolk Southern number 1070. And then for the SD90 Mac, I decided to be different with that too, because I just realized I'm covering up the microphone. Um, so I decided to be a little different with that too, because I figured, you know, everybody's going to get either, you know, like Union Pacific or I think Canadian Pacific um, had a uh, paint scheme for the uh, SD90 Max as well. So I decided to get the Australian one instead. Um, <laughs> so. Um, I got the Fortescue Metals Group 901. Um, I think when I build a layout here at home, this is going to be my coal hauling engine, even though it's a metals group, whatever. Um, which also brings me to the other point of this video. I don't have an operating layout at home, so this is strictly aesthetic differences. I'm not going to be able to, you know, demonstrate any of the, you know, sounds or, you know, the lights or anything like that, because, um, just from what I've seen in either videos, of the SD90 Max or the actual demonstration I saw when I pre-ordered it, because um, Atherin was at the hobby shop I was at, uh, that where I pre-ordered it. Um, so there's a vast difference in the lights and the sounds and everything. It's quite dramatic, so I wish I could show those off, but I can't. Um, so like I said, this is gonna be strictly aesthetic. The first difference um, I'm gonna point out is that the SD90 Mac is um, noticeably longer than the SD70 AC. I've got them both, um, you know, set up pretty much um, identically as far as length goes, and um, at least as far as from the rear goes. And yeah, the SD90 Mag probably uh, sticks out about another six, like five or six scale feet um, past the past the SD70 ACE. Um, so that was the first. Uh, real big difference that I noticed. Um, as far as the cabs go, they're almost identical. Um, the uh, walkway on the front of the engines is noticeably different. That's probably about the biggest difference. Um, the SC70 ECE has a bit of a thinner platform, so the ditch lights, um, those two lights down here at the bottom, are a little bit closer together on the SC70 ECE than they are on the SC90 Mac. Um, there's a dramatic difference there. Um, I believe the plow is also different, not just in color, but in shape as well. It's a little bit bigger on the SD90 Mac than it is on the SD70 ACE. Um, other than that, um, oh, the headlights. Um, this Now, this might also be a Norfolk Southern thing, because I think Union Pacific um, has, has, has the headlights on their um, SD70 ACEs on the nose, or at least some of them, like the, like the SD90 Mac has. But Norfolk Southern has theirs on the top of the cab, like above the windows there, as you can see. Um, so that may just be a, a, a builder difference for different locomotives, for different railroads. Um, but other than that, the cabs are almost identical, like even down to the, um, even down to the isolation. Um, it's like you see where it's got 1070 written on the uh, side of the cab here. The little gap there going up um, is... Um, it's isolation for like noise cancellation and things like that. Okay, spread the engines back out a little bit so we can start working down the side of the engine. Um, so the first thing I've noticed is um, this vent right here um, towards the top here in the SD70 ACE is not present on the SD90 Mac. It's actually down towards the bottom. Um, so that's a big difference. The electrical cabinets also appear to be a lot different. There's appear, there appears to be um, three electrical cabinets up here on the SC90 Mac, but there's only two um, on the SC70 ACE. Um, the section where this little vent is is also noticeably shorter on the SC on the SC70 than it is on the SC90, um, which is probably where that extra like six feet or so comes in. Um, I don't even know if that's six feet, but uh, 
it's definitely it's definitely noticeably longer um because um because the thing with the roof too is um on this section here <coughs> sorry on this section here the sd70 only has this one little vent here um like in the middle up on top here whereas you can see the sd90 has two vents um on there and they're actually the, the how the even the housing is different there's actually a little housing um for the vent in the sd70 whereas they're just flat on the rooftop with the sd90 um so we're on our way down um on the sd70 this lowered section of the roof here it's pretty much uniform all the way between that uh, vent housing and the radiator vents at the back it's pretty much uniform and the horn is more centrally located on the top of the roof there whereas the sd90 it's only uniform up to a certain point then goes back up again with a little extra bit of room before the radiator fans and the horn is more located towards the rear. Um, with the radiator fans themselves, uh, as you can already see on the SD90 Mac, um, there's three big vents and then um, a couple little vents here on the end. There's the two radiator fans on top in that little housing section. Um, same thing with the SD70, but the SD70 has four um, has four vents. Um, they're a little more uniform. Um, spread across the radiator fan housing so there's that um, the little uh, wheel here um, on the end of the engine too I think that might be a brake wheel or something but um, that is missing from the SD90 um, now if we turn the engines around like right off the bat you can already see that there are um, substantial differences on the other side of the engine between the SD90 and the SD70 ECE. Um, we'll start with the SD70. Um, it's got these, it's just got like one single solid block up here with the uh, with the vents. These are these two little like long vents here on the side of the engine. It's just one single block whereas the SD, the SD90 has a uh, vastly different um, housing setup over here. It actually steps down um, and there's this little alcove here. Um, it's got more um, vents or like doors and stuff in it. Um, and then the vents are situated differently too. They're, um, they're on the side of the engine, like the actual engine itself and not on the little housing like they are on the SC70 ACE. And then on the rear of the engine, um, the rear almost looks identical. Um, they've got the headlights both situated in the same spot with a similar housing. Um, the only difference with the lights is um, the SC70 ACE, at least this particular SC70 ACE, has ditch lights on the rear as well, but that is also a real life prototype thing. Um, Norfolk Southern has all of their engines set up to be able to run long hood forward. So basically, um, these engines have the ability to run in reverse on the head of a train because the FRA, the Federal Railroad Administration, um, requires ditch lights on the leading end of all locomotives. Um, so whichever, so Norfolk Southern engines have the capacity to lead from either end and I have seen engines running long hood forward in real life. So obviously the SD90 Mac is not going to have those because um, I well one I don't know what um, Australia's requirements for ditch lights are even though the SD90 Mac does have ditch lights on the front I don't think um, I mean obviously these don't have ditch lights on the rear to be able to run long hood forward I don't think um, long hood forward running is um, terribly common outside of the United States. Um, I have no proof of that. Also, I think the FRA might, I think the United States and the FRA might be the only ones that actually require um, the ditch lights because um, I think there are other places in the, in the world where engines do run a long hood forward, but they just have the one headlight. So, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not up to date on any of my, uh, um, um, any of my stuff like that. Um, 
other than that, um, there's these little vents here on the side of the um, SD90 Mac that are not present on the SD70 ACE. There's just one central vent on the SD70 ACE. And again, the plow, actually, I'm, I may be miss. I think I'm missing the plow on the uh, SD70. I need to find that. Um, but, but as you can see, there is a, actually, no, there isn't a plow. Yeah, no, there's, not, there's not a plow on either one. I need to fix that. Um, <laughs> it's a good thing I did this then. Um, so other than that, um, those are pretty much all of the differences between the two locomotives. Like I said, I just wanted to try something a little bit different here. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, um, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. I was going to say if you see more video, uh, if you want to see more videos like this, but this is pretty much just going to be a one-off thing because I really don't have any other locomotive models that I can really compare. So this is kind of just going to be a one-off content thing. Um, but if you did like it, like I said, shoot hit the like button, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys later.